Hello everyone. As we already discussed about congruence of triangles, and there are four major theorems, basically SSS, SAS, ASA, and RHS. So we get the questions to prove the congruence of two triangles so that we are very clear that this triangle is equal to this triangle and all the sides of the two triangles as well as all the angles of the two triangles are also same. In the first question, it is given that AB is equal to BC, AC is equal to BD and we have to prove that the triangle ABC and triangle BDC, these two triangles are congruent to each other. The sign of similarity is this and the sign of congruency is this. It is actually that if the two triangles diminished or magnified and look same is basically similarity and when they are equal in their parameters it is known as congruence. So we have to prove that this triangle is congruent to this triangle. We already know that BC is a common line between ABC and BDC. So whatever is the length of BC, this must be same for the two triangles. It means BC equals to BC. So this is the side. This is again the side. And this is again the side. We know that the three sides of this triangle and three sides of this triangle are all equal. That means the triangle ABC is common to triangle BDC. All the angles are also same. Here we have to Keep one thing in mind that if all the three angles of one triangle are same to the three angles of another triangle, that does not mean that they are congruent. But if the three sides of one triangle are equal to three sides of the another triangle, that means they are congruent to each other. So here we can say by the rule of SSS, these two triangles are congruent to each other. If we look at the second question, here, the given point is that there is a line AB and C is the midpoint of AB, that means the length of AC and the length of CB are both equal. On the other hand, AB is parallel to CB. This line is parallel to this line. So, this line AB will act as a transversal, and if this is a transversal, we are clear that this angle must be equal to this angle. We can refer this from our uh, point of uh, line and from the chapter line and angles. There is one more thing that this angle and this angle must be equal because they are vertically opposite to each other. So here it is already clear that two of the angles and one of the side is same and the side AC is the included side of the angles and side CB is also the included side of the angles. That means that the triangle ACP or ABC and the triangle CQB are both congruent to each other. Here, important point is that this is proved by the rule of ASA, where two angles are equal and one side is equal, and this side is the included side of the two angles which we have proved. The most important point that we have to write all the points to make marks in our class 9 or 10. This is again the third question where there is a triangle ABC. And D is, AD is the perpendicular line to BC and D is also the midpoint of BC. So these two points are given to us and we have to prove that the triangle ABD and triangle ABC are both congruent to each other. We already know that D is the midpoint that means BD and BC both are equal. BD is equal to BC. We already know that AD is perpendicular to BC that means both the angles are 90 degree in this case. Angle ADD is equal to angle ADC is equal to 90 degree. And the third is the line which is common to both the triangles is AD. So AD is equal to AD. So here we can say there are three things we have already proved which are equal to each other. That means these three things means the rule of SAS is applied because two of the sides of this triangle are equal to two of the sides of this triangle and the included angle is also equal. That means by the rule of SAS, these two triangles are congruent. Now let us come to the fourth example which is the triangle ABC. CE is a perpendicular to AB, this is already given and BD is also a perpendicular to AC, this is also given. 
and EC, the length of EC is also equal to the length of PE. Now, we have to prove that triangle BEC, this triangle, and triangle BDC, this triangle, are congruent to each other. If we actually see, then the length of EC and the length of BD both are equal. On the other hand, one of the angles is also given as 90 degree. So this angle is 90 degree. So if one of the angles is 90 degree, one of the side is given, and this is the common line in both, which is actually the hypotenuse of both. So we can say by the rule of RHS, where one of the angles is right angle, the hypotenuse length of hypotenuse is same and the length of one of the side is same, then we can say by the virtue or by the rule of RHS, these two triangles are similar to each other. Now this is very very important that if by the congruence of triangle, we have already proved that two triangles are congruent, it means we have already proved that three of the things are equal, whether they are side side side, angle side angle, side angle side, or right angle, hypotenuse and side. And we also know that there are three sides in a triangle and there are three angles. So in all, there are six things which are the parameters of a triangle. And if three of the parameters are same and we have proved that they are the congruence of triangle, it means the remaining three parameters are also same. That is CP, CD, corresponding part of the corresponding triangles, congruence triangles. If the two triangles are congruent to each other, then their corresponding parts or the remaining three parts are also same to the corresponding remaining three parts of the remaining triangle.